Hey guys, this is Crypto the Dog here. Uh, today we're going to go over over testing with the FX Blue Simulator. Uh, the reason I like to test with the simulator is it simulates live trading, uh, so you don't ha you're not able to see the right side of the chart. You're only able to see the left side of the chart, so you have no trade bias when you take your trades. Um, so that's mainly the reason I like to do it. That and it's fun. It's kind of like playing a video game or something. Um, so first off, what we want to do is go to fxblue.com. Uh, you're going to create an account here where it says create a free fxblue live account. Once you've done that, you're going to go into apps and uh, find the trading simulator for MT4 and download it. Once we have a download, we'll go ahead and open the zip file. And go ahead and run the executable. Choose your MT4 instance and click install. Then if you're in MT4, you're going to have to close out for it to show up. Um, we'll go ahead and launch MT4 since we weren't in it already. So once you launch MT4, uh, the simulator is going to be in the strategy window. Uh, I don't think normally the strategy window is open by default, so you'll have to open that. That's the icon with the magnifying glass right here. Once that's open, uh, you'll make sure the expert advisor is selected from the dropdown, and then you're going to select your FX Blue trading simulator from the dropdown. Once you have the trading simulator, simulator selected, you can go into expert properties and change some of your settings. Uh, everything in here, I normally just leave it default with the exception of this first setting here to pause tester. I think it's set to no pausing all the way around by default, but I like it to pause at the end of an order. Uh, so when I either hit my take profit or my stop loss, I want the simulator to stop as well. To change that, you just double click on the box, click the drop down, and they're kind of hard to see here because it cuts off, but it's this last option here, pause when stop loss or take profit is hit. So you want to select that. These are for offline charts. So let's say you're trading an hourly chart, but you want to have like a four hour open or something so that you can see what the trend is on the bigger time frame. You can add, this allows you to have multiple charts open at the same time. Uh, we're not going to worry about that right now because that's not the way we're back testing. Uh, auto scaling, I think it's just on default. I don't really change any of that stuff. So go ahead and click OK on that. And then for the model, by default, it's set to every tick. That'll simulate your basically your live trading where the candle moves tick by tick. Uh, the way I usually do it when I'm simulating the daily is with this open prices only method. Uh, what that does is it only shows the candle at its open price, and then it'll show the next candle at its open price, but it doesn't do the tick by tick. That basically speeds it up a lot, and it's not as accurate as tick by tick technically, but you're supposed to be closing at the end of the candle anyway and opening at the beginning of the next candle. So, I mean, yeah, it's not as accurate, but to see if an indicator works or doesn't work, it works fine. Right here, you select your date. So, um, I'm going to go back to January of 2016. Uh, you want to do, you know, two years or more of back testing. Uh, I believe this use date is not checked by default, so if it's not, you'll want to check that. Choose your dates. Visual mode is usually not selected by default, so you'll want to select that. That needs to be checked or the simulator won't run. This bar here controls your simulator speed, so that needs to be showing in order uh, for the simulator to work. Right here is where you're going to choose your time frame, so we would of course, choose the daily, the spread, I just leave it current. So what you need to do is choose a currency pair. Um, you can choose that from this list here. Before you choose the pair, though, you need to download the pair data. So in order to do that, you have to go into Tools and History Center. 
you'll choose your pair from over here on the left hand side and then choose whatever data you want to download so we're going to download the daily you just double click on it click download click OK click yes and OK again that'll download all the data from your broker go ahead and click close so now we've got our symbol selected, we're going to go ahead and start the simulator. So once you start the simulator, it's going to take a minute for it to pop up here. It'll show the chart first and you'll think it's not doing anything, but it is loading. It just takes it a couple minutes. All right, so once that's going, it'll start in the pause state. So to run it, we're going to click either the unpause button right here or the button right here. But first, I want to get my chart set up. So I'm going to change the chart to just a clean standard candlestick chart. We're going to add a, just a moving average, 200 moving average, and then uh, I don't know, MACD indicator, and then our ATR indicator. Oh, I shrink that down because I just like to see the numbers there so I know what to set my take profit and stop loss for. So now we'll go ahead and start the simulator. And I'll show you guys how to use it. Okay, I started on the slowest speed so that it's not going so I can kind of show you the settings. Uh, this drop down right here will allow you to choose your lots. You can either type it in or use the arrows. We're just going to do a micro lot right now. This one is for your trailing stop loss. If you want to set that, that's in pips. So uh, if you want a 20 pip trailing stop, you'd enter 20 there. We're not going to do that right now either. Uh, the stop loss and take profit are, of course, going to go by your ETR. So if we were to take a trade right now, our uh, take profit would be 87 pips, which is what it's set for. And then our uh, stop loss would be 1.5 times 87. So to make a buy, all you have to do is go ahead and click buy right here. We're actually going to speed this up a little bit so it goes a little faster. Go ahead and hit play, and you didn't see that. It hit our take profit, I think, right away there. Um, so we'll go ahead and do another one. We're going to do a sell here. Let's see, it looks like our ATR though now is 99, so we're going to change that to 99, and then we'll find out what our stop loss is. That's going to be 99 times 1.5, 148.5, so we'll do 149 for our stop loss. We'll go ahead and take a sell, and start the simulator. So, looks like we might get stopped out. Yep. Got stopped out right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So go ahead now and just let it run for a bit. Watch it. You know, wait for whatever rules you have set up for it to hit your rules. Um, if the chart doesn't advance, click on this arrow up here at the top, and that'll make the chart auto scroll. Um, so you say, okay, well, here we go. It hit my rule right here. So. I'm going to go ahead and pause it so that I can enter my take profit stop loss. Uh, let's see. So right here, hit my rule. Take profit's going to be one times ATR, so that's going to be 106. And then our stop loss is going to be 6 times 159 for the stop loss. Go ahead and buy, and then click start, and it'll open up our orders. So hit our take profit there, pause the chart. So that's really all there is to it. You just make your buy, sales, you know, your take profit, stop losses, until your time runs out, uh, going by whatever rules you have set up on your indicators. So um, during the, the webinar, I actually went, like, eight for eight on trades or something just by using the MACD. So that's all you need, guys, is MACD. Uh, but that's 
it's a lot easier, in my opinion, than manually looking at charts, drawing lines, trying to figure out whether it would have hit your take profit, stop loss, and then, like I said, you get you kind of get the experience of live trading, and you don't get that trade bias. Um, so once you're done with your simulator session, you'll go ahead and click stop, and it'll show you your net profit. You can click this analyze button, and it'll take you to the FX Blue website. Once you're here, it will show you what your current account balance is, as well as, uh, you know, some stats for your trading, whatever your peak drawdown was, your win percentage, things like that are going to be on this page. Uh, the page we care about for at least for testing, if you want to go into the private group, is the order section. You want to change this to closed orders. This will show all the orders you took along with your, you know, open date, close date, your take profit, stop loss, and whether it was a win or a loss. You can export these into Excel just by clicking the Excel button right here, and that will put them into a nice spreadsheet that you can send to us, and we can, you know, get you in the private group, or you can upload them to the public spreadsheet, whatever you want to do. Uh, there's a few other things you can look at here. The stats has some kind of cool things. Once you've got a ton of trades in there, it'll show you equity lines and just tons of stuff like that. So um, that's basically it, though, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Hit me up on Discord. We'll see you guys later. Thanks.